Hey, what's up? My name is Samuel Leeds, and in this video, I'm going to be giving you the top seven secrets, the tips, the strategies that I use to get properties 20% discounted. So below market value properties on high street agents, on right move, where you can negotiate the price super low. This is for people that are looking for bargains right now in the market, or maybe you're a deal sourcer and you're looking to find BRR properties, um, discounted properties, HOs, but you're looking for a deal that you can then justify a nice fat finder's fee on for your investors. So how do you get good discounted properties in this market? Well, the first thing is this. If you're a cash buyer right now, or maybe you're not, but your investor is a cash buyer, that's a massive selling point. So I would encourage you, if you're working with investors, try and find investors who are cash buyers. You don't gotta be so super, super rich. If you've got 100 grand cash, well, you can find properties in cheaper areas like Stoke-on-Trent, for example, where houses there's loads of houses for 100 grand. But if you're going into estate agencies and you're saying, I'm a cash buyer, or I'm working with such and such an investor, this is what we're looking for, and it'll be cash. That's huge. Also, if you're buying properties that are run down, they're unmortgageable. So 90% of buyers that are buying with mortgage can't buy that particular house, but you're buying cash. So it's going to open you up to a whole new option of properties. And um, that's the first thing. Maybe you can't be a cash buyer. Maybe you're not a cash buyer. Maybe you're not a deal sourcer. There's don't worry because there's another six points. Uh, number two is have a good solicitor and have your solicitor ready lined up. When you're talking to estate agents and you're going and looking at properties, if you're just brand new and you're clueless and you haven't got a plan, and uh, the, the estate agent, it's not just about the strength, sorry, it's not just about the price, the highest offer, it's about the strength of your offer. So if you go into an estate agent, even if you're not cash, even if you're buying with a mortgage, and you say, this is my solicitor, I'm ready to roll, we can act quickly, there's no chain, I've got nothing to sell. Even if someone else offers higher than you, they might accept your offer because of the strength of your position. So number one is cash, if you can, that's gonna get you a big discount. Number two is the strength of your offer by having a good solicitor. Number three is similar, and that's have, have your documents ready. You see, when you put forward an offer on a property, if the estate agent says offer accepted, the very first thing they're gonna want is they're gonna want your photo ID, your correspondence address, your proof of funds, your solicitor's details, and your mortgage in principle. And they're gonna want those things pretty quick. So when you go to the estate agent, maybe you go into the estate agency shop or you're on a viewing, if you can tell them you've got all that information ready, maybe even show them, bring it, bring your ID and say, look, I've got all my documents ready. And tell, if you tell an estate agent, oh, here's my offer, it's 70 grand, I know that they want 90, but it's a cash offer. I'll be able to complete within four weeks. My solicitor's ready to roll. And um, I've got all my documents ready. If the, if the vendor says yes, I've got my photo ID. I've got my proof of funds. I can show you any time. I've got my correspondence address. I've got my solicitor's details. That will be music to the estate agent's ears. So they might have had a higher offer, 87, from someone who's selling a house. They're in a chain. They need to get a mortgage. It could be months and months. Time is money. So that's number three. Number four is it's a numbers game. If you're trying to get 20% below market value properties, the average property in the UK right now is about 280 grand. So let's call it 300 to keep the math simple. 20%, 20, that's about, about 60,000 pounds. So getting 20% discount off a property, which happens all the time, by the way, that's 60 grand. So by you putting a little bit of effort into finding a good deal and getting a discounted property, you're potentially saving £60,000 just from your negotiation. So my next point is, number four, is it's a bit of a numbers game. If you want to get a good deal, don't get emotionally attached to one property and get all excited. Don't be a motivated buyer. Deal with motivated sellers. Put forward lots of offers. If you're not embarrassed by your offer, it's probably a little bit too high. So... You know, some people say, oh, I tried putting an offer forward. I've, I've put three offers forward and, and no one was accepted. There's no below market value deals out there. Well, three? So you're trying to make 60 grand or save 60 grand and you think just making three calls is going to... Come on, try 300. So, and you might think, oh, that sounds like too much. Well, how long does it take to put forward an offer on a property versus how much discount? You have to weigh up how much your time is worth. 
I'd be happy to make put in a fair few calls to get a 60 grand discount. So it's a numbers game. Next tip though, tip number five is this, really important. To save time, be upfront with the agent. So when I ring up an agent, let's say I see a house on the market for 150 grand and it's worth about 150 grand, but I'm thinking I want to get 20% discount. So I'm wanting to buy it for, what would that be? That would be uh, 30 grand off, so 120. I'm not just going to go and view it and then put an offer of 120. I'm going to call the agent and I'm going to do something called an if would offer. So an if would offer goes like this. Hey, I've just seen your property on the market. I can see it's on for 150 grand. Um, I'm really interested to come and view it. I'm a cash buyer. I've got all my sisters and everything in place, ready to roll. However, just to be upfront and put my cards on the table, if I was to offer around about 120, around the 120 mark, you know, what do you what do you think they'd say? Is, is it worth me coming to, to book a viewing? I don't want to offend anybody. I don't want to waste anyone's time. But I think I'll be looking at offering it. It would, you know, definitely be less than 150. What are your thoughts? So what you've done now is you've told the agent, basically, that you're going to offer about 120. Now, of course, you're not actually offering 120. Don't try and offer. Because if you, if, you if you say this bit wrong, if you say to the agent, I'd like to come and view and my offer would be 120, they'll think you're an idiot because they'll be thinking, you can't offer on a property you've not seen. So you, that's what you have to do if would. I don't want to offend anybody. I don't want to waste your time. And you don't. You don't want to waste. You don't want to go and view 10 houses with 10 different agents, offer 20% below market value and piss them all off. And then you've wasted your time. You've upset them because they have to put the offer to the owner. That's part of being an, I used to be an estate agent. So if you put forward a stupid offer, then they have to put it forward to the owner. And then the owner's like, no. That it's just a waste of everyone's time and it's, it, it, it's, it's, um, it's awkward. But it's not awkward having a one-minute phone call and saying, hey, I see it's on for 150. Listen, uh, I am a cash offer. I wouldn't be able to offer the full asking price. I'd be looking around 120. Of course, I have to come out and have to see the property first. I just didn't want to waste time. I mean, what do you think? Is it worth me? Is it worth me booking a viewing or not? And if they say, no. They've already had offers of 140 and they've said, no, there's no way they'd accept that. Then you can say, no problem. Have you got anything else? Because I'm looking for a bit of a bargain at the moment. What, what, have you, what have you got coming up? No, we haven't got anything. All right, no worries. Well, have yourself a wonderful day. Next, it's a one minute phone call. You've not gone and viewed a property on your lunch break. So be upfront on the phone di direct. That will save you a lot of time. Next, number six. I love this one. Don't just scroll right move and wait for, to see something and then call the agent. I call this a, cr a criteria call. Call an agent with no property in mind. In fact, call all the agents in your area or the area that you're looking and tell them your criteria and just say, hey, um, you know, I I'm ringing you because you seem to be one of the best estate agents in the area and my name is Samuel. Um, my situation is I'm a cash buyer. I've got about 200,000 pounds I'm looking to spend. And um, I'm looking for something, though, that is, is, you know, I'm looking to deal with a motivated seller. I want to move quick. I want to buy cash. Do you have anything where, you know, if any of your sellers are looking to get a quick sale? I'd be really, really interested to come and view. And then they might say, you know what? We've not got anything on the moment. At the, we've not got anything on the market at the minute. But we have got something coming up. Now you're getting off-market opportunities. Or they might, might say, we've not got any opportunities at the moment, but I appreciate your call. Thank you so much. Give me your details. I'll call you if anything comes up. Now you've got people, you're on people's books. And then the final thing, point number seven, and this is so important, and this is intrinsically linked with my code of honor as a human being, which is honor those that helps you. Be loyal. And when someone does give you a deal, thank them. Like, this is so basic, but it's so, it goes such a long way. Most of my deals come from estate agents that I've previously bought from because the best way to build a relationship with an agent is to buy from them. So if you buy from an agent and they give you a discounted deal, go down the office once you get the keys, bring them champagne and flowers and, you know, really thank them properly and be loyal to them. Try not to buy from other agents if you can. Don't be super cutthroat and be like, Which, whoever brings me the best deal. No, I want to be loyal to this agent. They helped me. They gave me a deal. And when they feel that, they'll be the same to you. And when they get a banger of a deal and they've got 100 investors, 
They'll be like, I'm calling Samuel Leeds because he loyal to me, I'll be loyal to him. Those are my seven tips. Hope you liked them. Subscribe, hit like. I'll see you soon.